Hey guys, Enter the Stars, and there's been a lot of talk about the 22nd Commonwealth Games. Now, we're going to take a look at the opening ceremony for this, but understand that there have been exactly 22 of these Commonwealth Games, as you can see, according to the chart here, beginning in 1930, every four years. Look at some of these occult years in here. 1958, 1966. And we are on the 22nd of these games, as well as 2022. So 2022 and the 22nd games equals 44, which is half of 88. So, of course, they had to encode that into this as well, starting on July 28, which is 2 eighths, 88, ending on 8 8, 2022, in a couple weeks. So I decided to take a look at this. The Commonwealth Games. Now, the opening ceremonies took place in Birmingham in the UK. And look at this logo. You have three, three, and three. You have basically three triangles. Basically in uh, one continuous shape. Um, we know what likes to use continuous shapes, don't we? The king of time and space... In this reality, which is the devil himself. And here he makes his appearance in the Vav 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 above the Commonwealth Games in the logo there. Now you're going to see this Vav 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 symbol, this VVV play out all the way through these games. You're going to see that logo everywhere because it's part of the logo. Now I've only looked at the first few minutes of this and we're going to play it in fast speed with no sound. But I do have the captions pulled up here. And to confirm that this is really about time and space. This is at double speed, by the way. You're going to see the eye portal at exactly 44 seconds into this. Look at this. Unbelievable. Confirming 44 and 44 is 88. Time and space. And right at 44 seconds, there is a man painting a logo on the side of let's back that up a little bit exactly 44 seconds and it's a spiral with time the clock in roman numerals time and space we know that the eyes are portals we know that spirals are portals based on everything that has been revealed to us so far the goal is the ladder to try to get out of the firmament this is their ladder. This is why you see the two ladders here to try to break through the firmament. And this is all about the fallen ones trying to break through. Now, of course, it would be, wouldn't it? Because the fallen ones rule this world. Now, let's let this play through a little bit. Again, this is at two times the speed as they try to warm everybody up to what is to come. Right. So they're showing family, environment, draw everybody in. This is for the commoners, the commoners. The guy's doing a little glass blowing there. Looks like a barbecue. Now, apologies, but this is what we have to do for copyright reasons. We're not allowed to just play this straight through, I don't think. This is off of the NBC Sports channel. Then they go all the way out into space because they have to... Ooh, Saturn! Go figure. They have to continue to make sure that we believe in all this nonsense so that, you know, everyone keeps wanting to go out in outer space. Oh, look, this is the fallen angels. Falling debris from outer space. This is how they fell. Fell to Mount Hermon. Look at that. Of course, they have to worship their needle, right? Let's go back to that part here. Because that's what they like to poke us with all the time. That looks like Sydney, Australia. And the fallen ones fall to Earth. Now, I haven't seen any of this. We're doing this live and on the fly. Because it's better that way. Because you guys are probably seeing some of the same things that we're seeing. Now, what's this? I got somebody going out to investigate these fallen angels. Meteors. Oh, of course it's got to be blue. A blue crystal, right? What the heck? Is she praying to that thing? Brings it in. And what is going on here? He pulls it out of the water. In the darkness, we carry a dream of light. Oh. That calls us together. Huh, whoa, purple. Purple powder. Of course it has to be purple powder, right? 
red and blue mixed together. The fallen ones mixed with humanity. This looks like a, a Nigerian man talking about 72 nations. What are those news? Let's zoom this up here. Those look like newspapers on them or something. These guys come out. Let's see if we can hear about what's going on here. Unbelievable. Maybe we should make this full screen. You guys can see this a little bit better. There we go. What does it say? Bull ring? Bull ring? What does that mean? Oh, they're shaped like an eye. Let's back that up. So they're the pupil of the eye and the children form the outer rim of the eye. Of course, right? This is what they do. Unbelievable. Now I pre-recorded today's show because I wanted to be with you guys in the chat to see if there's anything else you guys picked up on. Also, I'm going to try to get out and do some fishing today. But there are thunderstorms coming through. So, let's see what else we have here. Sermon which will demonstrate Birmingham is going to rich to embrace generations of the Commonwealth. Now, here's the big lie. They want everybody to believe that they have a chance and an equal part of the wealth of the world. When in actuality, nothing could be further from the truth. Because if that was the case, there wouldn't be rich people, would there? Because they need poor people to make rich people, don't they? Merge is a vibrant, multicultural city. There's that crystal. Ooh, gold, keys. Got some anti-gravity going on there. The eggs. Okay, so the eggs represent the womb. Gold. See the eggs there? I think those were eggs. Maybe those were balls. I don't know. Anti-gravity, right? Trying to make it so like we feel like we're closer closer to heaven right they want us to feel like them but not quite and this house floats meteor explosions are earlier and shards cascading around the commonwealth oh now everybody knows about the shard which i believe is in the uk as well it's a building that these people worship the shard let me make sure this is recording okay good got some good sound going on there let's keep going with this this lady looks like she's going in some kind of a trance Whoa, look at this. Shards. Ooh, they even say the shard. Look at those shards are an important indicator of a better collective future. There's the collective. Rather than magical power. Wait, whoa. Is it something about did they say shots? Important better collective future. Rather rather magical powers in those shots, flying houses. You gotta put the shot word in there, right? They're all dancing around in this. This is crazy. Flying homes. Everyone's clapping. It's probably some kind of hologram that they're... Well, there's the queen herself, right? Welcome the opportunity to speak to all the peoples. British Commonwealth. I declare before you all my whole life, whether it be long or short, shall be devoted to your service, and service to our great imperial family to which we belong. The head of the Commonwealth has long associated with the games dating back to 1958. Of course it's got to be 58. It actually went before that. It was like 1930, as we just saw. And you got to remember, these are the same people that went down in Africa and made colonies and oppressed all these people and waged war on them, took all their resources. To this day, the people in Africa basically don't... The, the common people in Africa don't have anything because their resources have been exploited. And here's Serpent-in-Chief himself, related to the Dracula family. Wow. Unbelievable. This is how they get everybody fooled through the scrying mirrors, through the phones. Okay, now we got cars driving around. It's weird. What kind of car show and I watched a mini Austin Metro MG cars in the city of Birmingham go hand in hand. Okay, so they're showing the commoners' cars, right? The commoners' cars. And it looks like they're driving into the shape of the, the flag. In the UK, I think they call it the Jack or something like that. Is the name of that flag? What is the UK flag? I don't know. No, I'm not a I'm not too bright about what you know what's going on in England. I know there's a lot to this in terms of you know what these people believe and you know what they do and how they run their country. And I've never really delved too deep inside of this, so please forgive me for you know. Any ignorance on the subject, but I'm just telling you what I see 
in this ceremony. So here they all are. Everyone dressed in black. Birmingham 2022. Looks like the national anthem is about to play here. Now, how do these people make it right? Well, uh, why don't you let some of these African countries be a little bit more free? Give all the money back to the people who are working so hard to, to basically have made these people wealthy. Now, a couple of you noticed that this, this girl looks like the girl from the Looking Glass, Alice in Wonderland. Look at the hair and the colors. She's singing the national anthem there. And here we have the flyover, it appears. Birmingham, six regions. Africa. So this is their little thing that they give back to Africa to make Africa feel a little bit better about all the oppression over the centuries. Instead of doing the right thing and letting these people be independent and help them create their own wealth, you know, there should be no poverty in these resource-rich countries. There shouldn't be one bit of poverty, but yet there is. So they're running. They got the torch. Obviously, this is much like the Olympic Games. This almost looks, this torch almost looks like some kind of a lotus flower about to open, maybe. I don't know. That's probably a little bit of a stretch. But definitely an egg. Got the egg shape going on here, which is about the womb and rebirth. Let's keep going here. All right. So now here comes the different colored doors. A lot of rainbowing. Lots of colors, isn't there? Okay, what does this say? Cities of the history. We combine, blend, and bind as one. Every creed and color and tribe. Oh, we're all together. Okay. Now, understand this isn't so much about color as it is poor and the rich. All right. One thing that they have done is gotten rid mostly of, you know, true racism. That really kind of went away in this world. But it's still about the poor versus the rich, isn't it? Because there are just as many poor white people as there are poor black people. I got this guy doing this thing here. Now, many people I know will argue that. But understand that the experience that my mother had compared to my experience as a young black man was completely different. I had opportunities for an education. I had all the same opportunities that other white kids had, regardless of how they felt about me and my color. So you can't really argue that in today's world. You know, it's about, you know, your self-initiative. But the problem is, is now that the powerful and rich are taking over and they're making both or all classes of people poor. White, black, it doesn't matter anymore. And these people are becoming more and more rich and oppressing us. They want to put us into this matrix, put us into some kind of, you know, this control in this grid, take away resources, put more laws and rules on us. Okay, we're not going to listen to Duran Duran. We have all the white, dancing in white. That represents virgin sacrifice. All right, so they got more candlelight. Whoa, look at this. It's a bull. Whoa, it's like Osiris. Oh, umbrellas. There you go, right there. Talked about the umbrellas. What are the umbrellas? That means injections. Umbrellas are injections. They have ferrules in them, in the tip. The ferrule is also in a hypodermic needle. It's a part in a needle. And people have gotten poked with umbrellas and poisoned. So they pull out the mechanical bull. Look at this. With the ring in his nose. Osiris, whatever you want to call him. The raging bull. Whoa, this is crazy. In red. Stella calms the bull. So doing like some kind of a mock. Uh, oh, and then she's using the crystal. Look at this. She's wooing the bull with the crystal. Zap that back a little bit. She's controlling him with this crystal mind control. Wow. Now he mentioned something about a birthright. Is that what he said? Whoa. That's the, that's the seed of life back there. That's what this pattern is. The seed of life. I recognize that. So, here's the opening ceremony. And look, the eye of the bull. Bull's eye. Look at that. The bull's in the middle. That's a bull in the eye. Bull's eye. Okay. 
Osiris. The bullseye is also the mark. So the mark of the beast. So, very occult ceremony, isn't this? So who are these people? Oh, these people are. Oh, it's just all oh, their representatives from all the commonwealths, apparently. So they march them all out. There's Fiji, we saw. Um, Tong, I think that was. Oh, here's New Zealand. So they all get marched out. Happy with their slavery. Wow. Let's fast forward through this. So they got group for every commonwealth. And this is their little reward. There's Samoa. Tonga. Now, the people at home are probably cheering. There's Tuvala. Or Tuvalu. There's lots of commonwealths, apparently. We're just going to kind of fast forward through these. Now, we got some fireworks. There's Botswana. Look at them. Cameroon. Happy in your slavery. Unbelievable. There's Ghana. The corruption going on in these countries. Meridius. The diamonds. We had a, a guest on telling us the true story of the blood diamonds. And how that works. Mozambique. And how basically um, the rich are able to trade these diamonds. But the common people are not. Now that guess was from Sierra Leone. I don't know if Sierra Leone's part of the Commonwealth or not. I suppose they would be marching out if they were. Sikiles. I don't know how you pronounce that. Anyway, like I said, I'm not too up to speed on exactly who's in the Commonwealth. There's South Africa, of course. Uganda. Huh. While marching out. Zambia. See what else we have here. So they all march out and they create this kind of a rainbowing effect. There's the Bahamas. Wow, I didn't even know that the UK had control of all these countries. There's Bermuda. Hmm. Interesting. Now, Canada. Now, every country, I guess, you know, uh, has, is made up of people they've conquered in the past. I mean, look at the United States. It's pretty much our story. There's Falkland Islands. But Britain is a little bit different. They were able to maintain these colonies across vast stretches of ocean. How were they able to do this? They sent armies and ships. Look at this. They all form the Eye of the Bull. This is who these people worship, the bull. Brunei. So there's all these little countries. So they're trying to celebrate this as some kind of rainbow coalition. Right? It's so all of us together, and it's one big happy family, Malaysia. And maybe that wouldn't be such a bad thing if if there wasn't poverty, intense poverty in some of these countries. Now, the naysayers will say, oh, you, got, you know, Casey, you know what, he's perfect. They're doing the best they can. Well, they're really not doing the best they can. There's so much waste, the rich, so much corruption. Singapore. There's traffic going on in plain sight. Everybody knows it's happening and no one does anything about it. With the children in some of these countries. Okay. That's what's really going on. Anguilla. The rich get away with crime and the poor go straight to jail. So it looks like most of the rest of this is them just parading out all these countries. Let's see if there's an end to this. We don't need to watch all of that Cyprus Guernsey Jersey let's take a look here of course all the colors and they surround the bowl then it looks like it's starting to turn red like a red ring now the shape of this isn't exactly round this let's see if it zooms out to this wide angle view here it's kind of an oblong oval shape not really an oval reminds me of a shape that we've covered in the past called the hippodrome the hippodrome was an ancient roman coliseum they would race horses around it they would have basically uh you know games 
This, these were some of the first sports teams came out of this. They wore different colored jerseys. Let's see what these people have to say here. Uh oh. Don't mess me up. Okay, it's time for us to do what we do best. Look at these people. This guy looks like he's going to do some kite flying. Birmingham 2022. So here you can see the oblong shape there. So they're all cheering. Post arrived. The athletes play his Special Olympics here, Paralympics. Okay. It's feel good, right? It's all about the feel good. And they're the last ones in. Into the magic circle. Magic oblong circle. I will have to investigate that shape a little bit further and see if there's anything else to that. It probably has some occult significance to it. Now, why am I so hard on the world governments and these kinds of events? Well, because the Bible says... That the devil rules this world. It also says it is not a man to direct his own steps. And that the world will be corrupt in the last days. No matter what anyone tries to say. There isn't any one man that's going to save it. The only kingdom that's going to rule is Jesus when he comes back. So this is why we can say the things we do about these world governments. Because it is the truth. What is this? Ceremonial flag for the commonwealth. Okay so they pull the flag out. Let's see what's on this flag. It's like a, looks like they're, like it's on a bed or something. What's this about? Oh, they've got the VVV, va va va. that's the 666, which is the mark, the bull, the bullseye. Interesting. So they all salute this thing. Royal Highness and Excellency, distinguished guests here tonight, watching home, following online, in Birmingham. Look at this. So everybody's all happy. And here you see the eyes above. So below they've got the uh, down here in this reflecting pool down here. So they're doing some kind of talking about the rules and the values of these Commonwealth Games. Everybody play fair. Here comes the torch. All right. They got three, three guys handed off to this lady. Now I'm sure these people have some significance. These people, like I said, I'm, I don't know a lot about British culture. I did I do have a friend named Mark who's British. I learned a little bit about the culture there, but it's it's got its own vernacular, it's got its own idiosyncrasies and everything else uh, that I'm not too up to speed on. I really never got into Princess Diana and that whole thing. I know a lot of people are really into that and the royal family. Um and so so they're basically gonna light this torch. All right. Interesting. It's getting close to the end of this, you guys. That's about it. Princes and princesses, duchess and duchesses. I don't know. Anyway, I don't know. I probably missed some stuff. You guys can help call it out in the chat. So he's going to give his little speech about how he just got out of his coffin and him and Dracula went and had a drink. All right, so there you go, you guys. Oh, look at all that red and blue. A lot of the colors are very significant, aren't they? This, to me, looks like an egg. Look, whoa, is that Saturn? What? Whoa, that looks like, almost like Saturn right there, doesn't it? From far away. See the rings around it and the globe, kind of? I don't know. So, welcome to Birmingham. Interesting. All right, you got, ooh, look at the bowl. It's all lit up. Fireworks, and on it goes. Whoa, look at that bowl. That's kind of scary. Red and blue. Mixed together, make purple. Oh, here's Duran Duran. What? Wait, wait, wait. What? Was that Jesus on his t-shirt? No way. Hold on. That cannot be Jesus on his t-shirt. No way, dude. Hungry like the wolf. Oh, that's not the song they're probably playing. Let's back this up. He had Jesus on his t-shirt. With a crown of thorns. That's what I thought I saw. Let's back it up. Jeez. Okay, we saw that part. Oh, here he goes. Let's see. 
And if he's wearing Jesus on his t-shirt, I'm going to fall out right now. Wait, where'd it go? Okay, what does it say? Let's zoom this up. That was the visual I got, but I guess it's not. Who is that? Depends on something. I don't know. It looked like a crown of thorns in Jesus when I first saw it, but I guess it's not. All right, you guys. So that's pretty much it. I am probably missed some stuff, but I just wanted to do this on the fly so you guys can kind of see what I look for when I'm decoding this stuff. I love each and every one of you guys. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. We'll see you tomorrow with... What are we decoding tomorrow? I can't even remember what we're decoding tomorrow. I think we're going to have a look at the Doctor Who Dark Water episode from, I think it was season 8 or season 10, if I remember correctly. So I'll see you guys all tomorrow for that. Take care and be safe, you guys.